Hello everyone and welcome to the video tutorial series by Brainstorm Force. In this episode we're gonna cover the basics of font icons and the default options. So we'll start by looking at the elements which use the font icons. We'll add a row and divide it in six parts so that I can demonstrate all the changes. Now let's add an element and see the default options. Click on ultimate VC add-on. So now we'll see these many elements use the font icons. A lot of them. So now we'll just select one of them and look at the options available. We have font icon manager from where you can choose numerous icons and we also have a custom image icon option by which you can add custom image like this from your media library the images also have the similar kind of options that font icons have let's now have a look at the default options given with the font icon manager by using a real-time search functionality you can directly search for the kind of icon you're looking for like I have searched for mobile now I'll search for card or you can also choose by searching the one that you would like to see or if you want extra icons to be added so you can click here and add to your library this is where you can find our icon fonts manager please see the link and watch the tutorial how to add extra icons to your library now coming back I'll just uh, choose a few of the social media icons which are familiar to everybody so these are the options you can select the icon size its color from the color picker you can choose by moving the cursor on the color picker or you can directly enter the hex code if you know the color code that you want so I just entered Facebook color code now this is how you would like to see your background to be I'll just select simple and we'll have a look in the front end so here we see the Facebook icon the color we applied and no background let's try out different options by cloning the same element and I'll search for Twitter now there it is now that I'm applying the background to this icon a circular background you can also change the background color once you select a particular style so we'll just enter color of Twitter We have got a circular background and the icon we chose in the center. Now let's try the same for the square background. I'll choose Google Plus. No need to change the size, it's the same square background. and the hex code of official G plus color let's see a circular Twitter and a square background G plus icon
now there's one option remaining which is a design your own which gives you additional options that you can customize your background let's just change its size so that our background fits well now here I'll give my icon a color and select design your own which gives me some additional set of options I can select a border style just because I chose design your own option above now let's have a look on w3schools.com and check out different border styles you can select dotted dashed try similar kind of options that suits best for your website now I'll select a solid border give it the same color that I gave to my icon the border width you can even change if you would like to see it thinner or thicker border radius that helps you give rounded corners to your background now zero means a square and as you go on increasing the size it becomes rounder and rounder from corners you can also select the background size if you would like to see the icon smaller and background bigger let's have a look in the front end there it is a solid border now that I have set my border radius to 0 I will get to see a square background but some icons have rounded corners and we're gonna do the same with our icon that we have selected so from here we'll change or try to increase its border radius so that the corners become more circular so depending upon the size of background you choose you'll need to select a proportionate value for your border radius so now I've got rounded corners by selecting border radius to 14 which is proportionate to my background size let's try to increase it more and see the corners get more rounded once you select a maximum value you'll get a circle and that is why the default value is set to 500 so here we have got a circle background which is set custom we'll set it back to 14 and get a rounded square background so thus we created four different styles of icons with background and different types so we'll just summarize this tutorial and have a look at the set of options that we saw we saw how to change the size of icon color then the background styles depending on which you get additional set of properties I hope this tutorial will help you in dealing with all other elements which use icon manager do remember to subscribe to our channel we'll be sharing similar video tutorials regarding all our products and upcoming updates thanks for watching this video